What is feverfew and how does it help migraines? Tanacetum parthenium, feverfew, is a flowering plant in the Asteraceae family. Feverfew gets its name from the Latin word febrifugia, which means, fever reducer. It was traditionally used to treat fevers and other inflammatory conditions. In fact, some people refer to it as medieval aspirin, one trusted source. Flavonoids and volatile oils are among the active compounds found in feverfew. However, parthenolide, which is found in the plant's leaves, is its main compound of interest. According to research, parthenolide may be responsible for the majority of the potential health benefits of feverfew. One trusted source. This article provides an overview of feverfew and discusses whether it can help with migraines. The feverfew and migraine connection. People have been using feverfew to treat migraines for centuries. Migraines are severe headaches that affect only one side of the head. They are frequently accompanied by throbbing, pulsing, or pounding pain. Two trusted source. Compounds found in feverfew, such as parthenolide and tanatin, have been shown in animal studies to inhibit the production of prostaglandins which are molecules that promote inflammation. One trusted source. Parthenolide may inhibit serotonin receptors. Prevent blood platelets from releasing inflammatory molecules. Prevent blood vessels in the brain from widening. Vasodilation. And prevent smooth muscle spasms. According to other test tube studies, one trusted source. Three trusted source. Migraines have been linked to all of these factors. 4 Trusted Source, 5 Trusted Source Human studies on feverfew and migraines, on the other hand, have yielded conflicting results. A review of six studies involving a total of 561 people found that feverfew helped reduce the frequency and intensity of migraines in four studies, while two studies found no effect. Furthermore, the four studies that found it to be beneficial found it to be only slightly more effective than a placebo. Six trusted source. In one study with 170 participants, those taking feverfew had only 0.6 fewer migraines per month than those in the placebo group. Seven trusted source. According to current research, feverfew appears to be only marginally effective in treating migraines. More human studies are required to reach firm conclusions. Summary. According to current research, feverfew is only slightly more effective than a placebo in treating and preventing migraines. More research is needed to reach a conclusion. Other potential advantages. Anti-cancer effects. Test tube studies show that compounds in feverfew may inhibit certain cancer cells. Pain relief. Feverfew's anti-inflammatory properties may aid in pain relief. Elevated mood. Feverfew has been shown in animal studies to help reduce symptoms of anxiety and depression. Human studies on this topic, however, are lacking. Treating rosacea. Topical creams containing parthenolide-free feverfew extract may aid in the treatment of acne rosacea by reducing inflammation. Parthenolide can irritate the skin, which is why it is not used in topical creams. Summary. Feverfew may also have a number of other health benefits. It has been linked to pain relief, mood enhancement, rosacea, improvement, and anti-cancer properties. Potential side effects. Feverfew is generally regarded as safe, with only a few reported side effects, six trusted source. However, studies on its short-term effects on the body have been limited. Long-term effects, lasting more than four months, have not been investigated. Feverfew may cause stomach aches, heartburn, diarrhea, constipation, nausea, dizziness, tiredness, and menstrual changes in some people, one trusted source. Pregnant women should avoid feverfew because it can cause premature contractions. 
Furthermore, research to ensure that it is safe for breastfeeding mothers is insufficient. One trusted source. People who are allergic to ragweed or other plants in the Asteraceae or Compositae plant, families, such as daisies, marigolds, and chrysanthemums, should also avoid it. It's best to check with your doctor first because the supplement may interact with certain medications, particularly blood thinners and liver medications. Summary. Feverfew is generally safe and has few side effects, but it should be avoided by some people. If you have any concerns, you should consult your doctor. Dosage and suggestions. There is currently no official recommended dose for feverfew. Taking 100 to 300 mg of a feverfew supplement containing 0.2 to 0.4% parthenolide between 1 to 4 times daily, on the other hand, has been shown in studies to help treat migraine headaches, one trusted source. Feverfew is also available in the form of fluid extracts or tinctures which are commonly used to treat arthritis. However, there is insufficient evidence to recommend it for this purpose. 16 Trusted Source You can also try it as a tea, which can be found at health food stores or on Amazon. Keep in mind that feverfew is not suitable for everyone, especially those who are taking certain medications. Speak with your doctor if you have any concerns. Summary. Though there is no official recommended dosage for feverfew, it appears that taking 100 to 300 mg of a supplement containing 0.2 to 0.4% parthenolide 1 to 4 times per day is most effective at treating or preventing migraine attacks. In conclusion, feverfew, Tanacetum parthenium, is a popular natural migraine treatment. However, current research indicates that it is only marginally more effective than a placebo. More human research is required. Feverfew has also been linked to pain relief, anti-cancer properties, improved mood, and acne rosacea reduction. This supplement is generally safe for most people, but if you have any concerns, consult your doctor before using it.